Hello Game of Thrones fans and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lady Fire Snow. If you have not rewatched the series, you officially have nine days left. Thanks so much for joining me today and don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help grow my channel. So if you haven't seen it yet, HBO actually dropped another teaser of the aftermath of Winterfell. They are showing us some footage that I don't believe is actual footage from the season, but I think it's more of a symbolism showing us what could happen. They showed us the ruins of Winterfell and the battlement, but they also gave us symbols that represent each of the characters, and I think this really means that no one is safe and anyone can die. I think my favorite was definitely Danny's pendant, dragon pendant, and chain hanging on literally a broken wheel. But the most interesting, I think, was the red blood. Of all the pictures, the only item that actually had blood on it was John's sword. And that, to me, is big symbolism for how important his blood is to the end of the story. There was also Bran's wheelchair and Arya's sword needle, so it was pretty cool. I hope you'll check it out. Today's video is about Bran and the White Walkers. Melequivio de Lorares, ame hago punto. The prince who was promised will bring the dawn. Don't listen to it. Crows are all liars. This is where the story began, and I do believe that this is where the story will end. Bran's experience with Jamie being pushed off the ledge was the beginning of him becoming the Three-Eyed Raven. I think that Bran knows this, and I think that he will tell that to Jamie when he sees him in Winterfell. Stop! Stop! You can't kill it, you know. Why not? Are you completely mad? He saw us! It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. He saw us! The things I do for love. <laughs> Because the raven is you. He touched you. He knows you're here. He'll come for you. But he can't get in. He can now. His mark is on you. They found us. That's my father. The man beside him is Howland Reed, Mira's father. I'm Jojen Reed. This is my sister, Mira. We've come a long way to find you, Brandon. And we have much farther to go. <laughs> We're not going to make it. We're already here. Jojen! Jojen! Look, Jojen, look! All of you. All of your lives. With a thousand eyes and one. Now you've come to me at last, Brandon Stark. Though the hour is late. I didn't want anyone to die for me. 
He died so you could find what you have lost. You're going to help me walk again? You will never walk again. But you will fly. I don't know that the show writers will give it to us, but I would love to see Brandon Warg dig the Syrian. I think that'd be awesome. You won't be here forever. You won't be an old man in a tree. But before you leave, you must learn. Learn what? Everything. The show writers spent a lot of time on Bran and his role in becoming the Three-Eyed Raven, so therefore it must be important to the end game. It was you. You made the White Walkers. We were at war. We were being slaughtered. Our sacred trees cut down. We needed to defend ourselves. From who? From you. From men. I do believe we will see the Children of the Forest in Season 8 again, and I do believe that they will give us another piece of the story of the creation of the Night King. The time has come. The time for what? For you to become me. But... am I ready? No. Blood Raven could have taken Bran to anywhere in the past, but for some reason, in the last moment, he decided to show him how Hodor became Hodor. Listen to your friend, Brandon. And how he affected the past and the present. This is very significant to the future. This is very important to the end game. I'm not sure I believe in a time warp. I'm not sure I even believe that Bran is the Night King. But I do believe that this is a big connection. I don't think the show writers are going to give us a true resolution or a complete story to the Night King. They're going to save that for the prequel. They're going to set that up for us. That's a definite. I do, however, believe that this moment is significant to the end game. It's significant to either defeating the Night King or it's significant to pushing the White Walkers back to the lands of Always Winter. Yeah. <laughs> 
Come with me. Now. <gasps> Uncle Ben Jen, even though had a small part in the show, played a very important role. He told us, he flat out told us that Bran was going to be there when the Night King came and that he was going to be ready. Uncle Benjamin. The last letter John wrote me said you'd been lost beyond the wall. The White Walker stabbed me in the gut with a sword of ice. Left me there to die. To churn. His children found me. They stopped the Walker's magic from taking hold. How? The same way they made the Walkers in the first place. You saw it yourself. Dragon glass. A shard of dragon glass plunged into your heart. You are the three-eyed raven now. I didn't have time to learn. I can't control anything. You must learn to control it before the Night King comes. Drink. One way or another, he will find his way to the world of men. When he does, you will be there waiting for him. And you will be ready. The sacrificing of the babies was a very big part of the White Walkers, and they stressed it more than one time. So even though I think it is a very big part, I don't think they're actually going to tell us why. I think they're, I really think they're going to make us wait for the prequel. They're going to leave us hanging. And so I think that this will remain a mystery. You know, when Bran asked Benjen about how they brought him back to life, you know, he said that the children of the forest did it in the same way that they made the White Walkers. And I'm just trying to figure out how that's different. Is there some magical spell? Is it that Benjen was dead and he somehow became good, but somehow the Night King was alive and now he's bad? The only thing I've been able to conclude is that the details with Hodor's situation, Benjen's situation, and sacrifice, these three elements, I think they are all things that are leading us to the end game. And honestly, I don't think anyone is going to guess what it is. I certainly don't know what it is. But I know that once we see the end game, it's going to be like a puzzle that came together. Are you sure you're ready for this? I'm the three-eyed raven now. I have to be ready for this. Oh, my sweet summer child. What do you know about fear? Fear is for the winter, when the snows fall a hundred feet deep. Fear is for the long night, when the sun hides for years and children are born and live and die all in darkness. That is the time for fear, my little lord, when the white walkers move through the woods. Thousands of years ago, there came a night that lasted a generation. Kings froze to death in their castles, same as the shepherds in their huts and women smothered their babies rather than see them starve, and wept, and felt the tears freeze on their cheeks. In that darkness, the white walkers came for the first time. They swept through cities and kingdoms, riding their dead horses, hunting with their packs of pale spiders, big as hounds. One time she told me, the sky is blue because we live inside the eye of a blue-eyed giant named Macumba. Maybe we do.